Should someone who believes that marriage is the union between one man and one woman be forbidden from earning a living? Surprising question, right? In America, everyone has civil rights, regardless of their beliefs. That goes for political beliefs, but also our religious and moral beliefs, including beliefs that go to the core of who we are and how to build our families and live our lives. But what if the government decided it didn't agree with your beliefs and it wanted to punish you by excluding you from making a living? Take the example of Steve Tennis, Country Mill Farms, and the city of East Lansing, Michigan. Running his family farm isn't just Steve Tennis's way of making a living. It's his way of sharing the most important thing in his life, his love for God. It's this love that inspires him and his family to serve their neighbors. Steve's family has donated thousands of pounds of apples from their orchards to local food banks. They provide quality housing on their own farm next to their house for guest workers, and they've shared and lived out their faith as they've served their many customers and visitors at the farm. One way Steve expresses his love for God proved to be a problem with a few powerful people in the nearby city of East Lansing. For six years, the Tennis family attended a farmer's market in East Lansing to sell their farm's produce. They loved providing fresh produce to people, and the people loved their organic fruit and vegetables. Year after year, the family was praised as a top vendor at the farmer's market, and the city invited them to return. One day, someone asked Steve on his farm's Facebook page to explain his views on marriage. He gave an honest answer consistent with his religious belief that marriage is a sacred union between one man and one woman. City officials, upon seeing this post, were offended. They set out to banish Steve from the farmer's market. How? By creating a new rule that allowed them to punish Steve for expressing his religious views about what weddings he can celebrate on his family farm, which is located 22 miles outside the city. Of course, Steve answering a question on Facebook about his view of marriage has absolutely nothing to do with selling apples at the farmer's market. And Steve had always followed all market rules and always served everyone two things the city agrees with. The city adopted the rule for one reason, to penalize Steve for what he believed. You see, Steve and his family are Catholic, and because they are Catholic, they believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. The same belief about marriage held by every major religion and by millions of people around the world and throughout history. But one city official said these beliefs are ridiculous, horrible, hateful. Another official said that to defend traditional marriage is the same as defending racist Jim Crow laws. Even the mayor weighed in, criticizing Steve for his Catholic view on marriage. Unless they stopped holding to those ridiculous beliefs, Steve and his family were officially banned from the market even though they did nothing wrong. Steve and his family welcome everyone to their farm and sell their fruit to anyone no matter who they are. In fact, the Tennis family farm is in another town, miles from the East Lansing city limits. Think about that. If you don't believe the right things according to city officials, you shouldn't be allowed to earn a living. Now, if that seems unfair to you, like it flies in the face of the Constitution unfair, you're not alone. Steve thought so too. He sued the city of East Lansing and asked to be protected from the city's unjust actions. It took years, and the city fought back. Along the way, a judge temporarily allowed the Tennis' family farm to return to the East Lansing Farmer's Market. As one of Steve's advocates at Alliance Defending Freedom put it, all Americans should be free to live and speak according to their deeply held religious beliefs without fear of unjust government punishment. City officials in East Lansing somehow forgot this. Hopefully, the court will enter a final ruling that reminds them of this obvious truth.